What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Tough Profan here, aka Vintage Pashas. That is my Instagram handle. And I'm also on Twitter at capital TUF Profan. How's everybody doing? You good? Well, this is going to be my second annual Raiders Roundup. And it's a day later because I had to get over the sadness and the anger of losing to Pittsburgh because we were that close. We were that close, but unfortunately, we gave him too much time. Well, Carr threw the interception very late in the game, and we gave him time to get down the field and get the field goal. 18-yard field goal, chip shot, you know, and we couldn't do anything about it. But, the good thing to look at is that all of our players fought hard. Nobody phoned it in. Nobody really had a bad day. It's just that Steelers were a little bit better on this day. So that's positive. Good way to look at it is that, unfortunately, the Steelers were just a little bit better today. Let me go over the stats, though, because to me, this doesn't even sound like a losing team. Let's talk about it. David Carr, our leader. Threw 24 out of 44 passes for 301 yards and 4 touchdowns. And unfortunately, there was that one interception that I talked about. Latavius Murray left the game with a concussion. I haven't heard any follow-up yet if he's going to play again or how he's doing or whatever. But 17 rushes for 96 yards. And did they throw to him at all? He had 2 passes for negative 1 yards. I mean, that's not, you know, very good. Let's see, Marcel Reese, three rushes for 21 yards, that's pretty good. Um, Our boy, Michael Crabtree, (laughs) our boy, Michael Crabtree, I always have a new boy every week. This week, it's Michael Crabtree, who got thrown to seven times for 108 yards and two touchdowns. You're doing your thing. And, of course, AC, who was our boy last week, got thrown to seven times for 88 yards and a touchdown. Seth Roberts again. Thrown two, three times for 73 yards. Uh, Michael Michael Riviera, two for 16 yards. So, I mean, our guys are still putting up good stats. And we're still playing good. But, unfortunately, Steelers were just a little bit better on Sunday. I got to watch the game again, which I was happy about after... uh, What other game was it? The Jets game. After the Jets game here in New York, they were, they put the Raiders uh, Steelers game on, so I was happy about that. And I got to watch the end of it when uh, the big touchdown reception to Michael Crabtree late in the game, and I was all types of happy, jubilation. And then unfortunately, we got a little uh, car through a pick. It happens. It happens. But we have a young, tough team. We're 4-4. Four and four, Better than the Chargers. And we're still strong. We're still sticking it out. Still staying in all these games to the bitter end. There's no, you know, big blowouts or anything going on these days. We're fighting in every game. So that's a great thing to see, I'm telling you. Great thing to see. So before I let you go, let me see what's going on next week for the Raiders. Yeah, week 10. Week 10. I feel like I should know this off the top of my head, but I don't. Here's week 10. What do the Raiders have? Who do the Raiders have? We got the Vikings. Okay. 405 might be on Fox here in New York. I'm not sure. Sometimes they like to switch them around. What game is on TV or not. But we're in Oakland versus the Vikings. Bridgewater got injured. So could be a good win. This could be a very nice win. We just have to stop Peterson. But, um... I don't know who's going to be the quarterback of the Vikings yet. It's still early. We don't even know if Bridgewater is playing or not, but I'm pretty
pretty sure Bridgewater got hurt somehow. So, we got the Vikings this coming weekend. And we're still strong. We still got all our guys. We got to see how uh, Latavius Murray is doing. If he can come back. If he's taking a week off. But we still got the arm of David Carr. Uh, we still got Marcel Reese on the ground. So, let's do it. Week 10, Vikings. We could be 5-4. and four. And then going into the weeks ahead, I think we have some really bad teams coming up. Like uh, the Lions, I think. Texans, maybe. I don't know about the Texans. But the Lions and I think some other teams that aren't very good. So we got a really good chance to get a really good record this year. And we're impressing a lot of people by staying in it to the bitter end, win or lose. But come on, guys. I'm going to be right back at you if it's a, if it's a win on Monday. And I'll be right back at you on Tuesday if it's a loss. Because we all need a day to be to mourn <laughs> our loss. Hopefully Latavius Murray's okay. We'll see. But till next week. This is Tough Pro Fan. Ready to wrap up. Check out some of my other videos if you're interested. I do a whole bunch of different stuff. But uh, this is fun. Anything else? No, nope. can't think of it. Like I said, Raiders are 4-4. Four four. We're facing the Vikings next week. They're without their quarterback. I think they're going to be without their quarterback. So, yeah. Could be a win for us. Go silver and black. Just win, baby. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Hey, guys. Just like last week, I think of something a little too late. Like, right off... There, I shut off the camera. Um, even though this is a full Pro Raiders show, I wanted to give a little credit to the Steelers. Because, you know, we don't hate the Steelers. They're not like a, you know, they're not a rivalry like, excuse me, the Chargers or the Chiefs. So, I gotta give them some credit, okay? Roethlisberger with the 334 yards and the two touchdowns. We took them out of the game, <laughs> Which was cool, but unfortunately, you know, we still lost. D'Angelo Williams, the old dog. <laughs> 27 rushes for 170 yards and two touchdowns. I mean, with Le'Veon Bell going down, that's a big showing by the backup or by the second string or whatever you want to call him. So, major credit to D'Angelo Williams. That's big. And Antonio Brown, 17 receptions for 284 yards. That's amazing. Amazing. 17 touches for 284 yards. Catches for 284 yards. That's amazing. So, major props to those two and Roethlisberger. Um, yeah, they were able to beat us, but they pulled up some amazing stats too. So, just wanted to give them a little bit of credit stat-wise. I already gave us credit stat-wise. And, like I said, next week's the Vikings, the week after that is the Lions, week after that is the Titans. So some big wins, I think, are on the horizon. We got this. We got this, guys. Once again, just win, baby. And I'll see you next week.